All right, so I'm gonna start the video. Um, I hope you can see. I'm actually caught up pretty good. Um, lines at an angle. So as I go over this, you're gonna see that it's, um, actually you can't see, I'm sorry. Um, I am going to see that it's gonna be sloping down a little bit and that is correct. Um, we, I was at 25 meters and now it's at 30. So that's one of the problems with casting a vibe. If you do not know the, oh wow, 35 meters. Um, coming back up. So yeah, there's a lot of pumps right here. Um, if you don't know the area very well, um, it's easy to get caught up. So what I'm doing is I'm reeling up and I'm keeping the line tight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until that line is no longer going vertical. Because what's happening is the flow of the water is pushing the line this way. And so it feels like it's snagged directly below, but it's not. Um, so actually I think that's, that's it right there. So I'll, then I'm gonna release some line. I know that my lure is right below me and then I can feel that it is somewhat loose. So it should come out. Yep, and there it is. And then just reel up and you're off structure. Um, bouncing the rod tip up and down, do not do it. Because what'll happen is if while you're doing that, let's see if I can get it to happen like that. And then what happens is the braid wraps around the rod and the dangerous part about that especially if you do not have a pedal drive um, if you start flowing with the current and that line gets tight you're gonna snap the tip of your rod off um, so don't do that don't bounce it up and down also whenever you're bouncing it up and down remember that you're also working the action of the raw tip. So if this is like this and you're bouncing it up and down, the line's not moving at all. And what you need is the line to move up and down to unstick the lure. So it's always best. And whenever you do this, do not wrap your hand around this braid.